I'm very alive and aware to the fact that the sociocultural environment in many African spaces are not very supportive and enabling for females to thrive in uh, the art practice. Women have to survive. They have to you know, take care of children and their families. And when art practice does not support you to put food on the table, it becomes very secondary. I think what makes me distinct is the passion to make and to create is overwhelmingly in me. It takes that amount of passion for you to want to push forward even when things seem very bleak, even when it's hard and even when you've tried several times and you've been turned down. One thing that has been very interesting about the process that we're working on is that it feels like we are doing a lot of domestic work, um, especially very similar to those that African women do, uh, like going to the farm and cultivating the land and the community. Do you always sketch before you do an installation? I do. I, I, I make a I make a sketch, uh, not too detailed, just you know, to have an idea of how I want it to be. I know how I want the space to feel. I think it's the experience that I'm more interested in. So yeah, um, I might visualize it to be in a certain way, but then I, I want people to walk through it in a certain way. So I kind of go for the experience more than how I want it to be. Part of what I hope to do striving and just trying to make myself more visible in, in the male-dominated world is to inspire the females who have the desire to pursue that career but are discouraged by not knowing how to start. <laughs>